Fun facts, all the cute people are actually watching this video right now. So I'm talking to you directly. I love you. Can you take a wild guess as to who we're rolling for? That's right, Taiga. Oh yeah, and Gil too. Alright, but if I'm gonna be real for a sec, Gilgamesh is one of my most wanted servants in the entire game that I have personally never rolled for. So here we are today with 323 quarts. Obviously, I'm not gonna spend them all, but there's two things I want in this. I want Gilgamesh, obviously, and I want that CE because goddamn, not only is the art amazing, but like, mmm, the, like, look at it. Well, we get spooked along the way. Probably. Are we gonna get a Steno? Most likely. Jalter's in here? No. But as long as I can get these Cs, anything really to help out in Gilfest would be lovely. Anything above an NP1 Gilgamesh would just be lovely. Chef's kiss. But that's probably not gonna happen because like, you know, it's me. Anyways, I feel like I've been yapping and yapping too much. I'll talk as I roll. Hopefully, I can hopefully somewhat get lucky. And uh, yeah, Taiga. Okay, now in terms of Gil rolls, I'm not really sure if he's someone I want to completely whale for. I know for a fact that regardless of the outcome of this video i'm gonna be making two parts to this video the reason i want to do two parts is because i know for a fact i'm not gonna get mlbce in this like in this video because like i know it's just not gonna happen speak of the devil hello codecast at least your thighs are nice but yeah i feel like splitting this into two parts would be pretty lovely i'm gonna do maybe i'm thinking four rolls maybe five but four rolls is like like a good amount not the best but it's fine and if you guys saw my last video i got a rainbow spark so am i gonna get a rainbow spark today probably not and we got a uriel no rainbow spark either a shinji you know at least it's not like the mapu tofu shinji okay so far so mid Ooh, okay rosa c we might get somewhat lucky maybe at least a four star servant something come on speaking of four star servant gorgon's in here which means Hopefully that will lessen the chances of me and we got par like perfect as I was saying Hopefully that lessens the chances of me getting uh, who is the other guy the big doggo no matter what I feel like even if I saw that gold card spin and it's an avenger I'm still gonna think it's Jalter the son of the hundred personas I'm surprised she never got like any sort of summer event or summer swimsuit or anything. I think that looked neat Ooh, wait, no shut. No way What? <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> First roll? Uh... <laughs> you know when I said I wasn't gonna get a rainbow spark? I didn't mean it like that. Like, huh? Okay, we got a Rosa C and we got Par. Like, if you guys still don't believe those don't give you any luck, then bruh, this is a perfect example. And on top of that, I actually had Sleepy's Blessing earlier today. Wow, he gets to call me Mongrel now? He looks cool, but you know, he could take off that armor. Okay, that was fast <laughs> obviously i'm not gonna leave this at one roll but let's say let's do another two let's see how that goes right so you're telling me i've been playing this game for four years pretty much and every single time gilgamesh has had a rate up or has appeared in any sort of banner i never roll for that banner right unless it's like a mashup jesus or whatever and the first time i just ooh, all right this is Enkidu and not Gerda, okay? As I was saying. So the first time I actually attempt to roll for a Gilgamesh, I get Gilgamesh in a multi and I get a Jaguar Warrior. Hell yeah. I like your little ears. Question is NP2 in this video and I'm in love. Speaking of first time things <laughs> that sounded weird you know weirdly um i think it was wednesday of this week i went to disneyland for the first time and i think i mean honestly last time i went to disneyland i must have been like the first or second grade it was fun i'm not gonna like tell you guys everything i did i just want to explain one ride or i guess talk about one ride if you guys have somewhat kept up with like the whole uh, like like any sort of news on disney then you'd know that they opened up the avengers campus with the spider-man ride and Mainly, I wanted to go for that ride because Spider-Man is my favorite superhero and a whole ride based around him, especially like the MCU version is like, bruh. Anyways, I think this Spider-Man ride was, I don't know if it's the most, like the stupidest thing I've ever ridden on or the coolest thing. Okay, so the way this ride works, it's very weird. So you're inside, it's one of those rides where it's not, it's not like a coaster or anything. You're inside a vehicle and it moves and you have 3D glasses on and then like, you know, you stop by screens and shit right this is not bad well because of the art this is also pretty lovely what's it talking about oh yeah okay third row whatever so the way this ride works uh so there's a pre-show and all that so once you sit down 
there's a camera tracking your motions and I was very confused. So the way this ride works, the whole premise is that it was like Peter Parker or something. He like built some bots or some shit. They start replicating each other and then like uh, they start invading the Avengers Tower, whatever they call it, Avengers Headquarters, something like that. So literally the entire time you're supposed to swing your arms or fling your hands in front of you as if you were shooting a web and like the camera registers your movement. It's pretty crazy because I was thinking like it was going to work like the Kinect where it's just, it's just dog shit but no it's actually very impressive i was more or less more impressed with the technology than the actual ride itself i mean the ride was pretty sick but it's just funny you know like seeing it from like a third person view you just see like four idiots sitting in a car flinging their arms as if they're spider-man like <laughs> but yeah it was fun and not gonna lie worked up a good sweat mephistopheles i got clowned so yeah california adventure pretty fun i guess i technically didn't go to disneyland i went to california adventure which by the way isn't as big as i thought because it was my first time going there and when you say California Adventure, you think like, oh, it's, just, I mean, it's big, all right? The park is big, but it's not as big as I thought. I literally just said the same thing. What? Wait, I just realized I'm just distracting myself from how garbage this role is, bro. I mean, I got, what, the CE again? The three and four star CE, so it's not that bad. It's still no five star, which of course. And we got Gambino. You know, that guy reminds me of that one really shitty movie. Did it have Johnny Depp in it or, or no? I forgot, the, was it called The Lone Ranger or something like that? It had like, nobody watched it. And I, I think I remember watching it and it was just boring. Oh, you know what else is boring? I'm, I'm not even I'm gonna say you already know wait that was my third one already so what can we get out of that role you should definitely write that spider-man right okay what sort of catalyst am i gonna have to put together to get this e just give it to me nothing to it on to the fourth maybe maybe a gorgon spook hi kiyohime okay i'm gonna go on another completely random talk so if you don't care and then uh f you but there's literally i'm not even joking this is not a meme or anything like there's literally a place near my like where i live right the place is called the badass coffee not even kidding of course their mascot is a donkey but when i tell you they have some of the best iced coffee i've ever had not only the best but some of the strongest oh my wait is that two four star c's back to back i'm not gonna get anything here but they have the best tasting strongest coffee i've ever had well one of but i'm bringing this place up because i'm not really much of a pastry guy usually when i go into cafes i get my coffee and dip maybe a sandwich occasionally from starbucks where is this Gilgamesh seat, bruh. Okay, what I'm about to describe is pretty generic, but it was like this donut thing. It was kind of shaped like a star and it had jelly inside of it and it was glazed with, uh, I guess whatever, whatever the sugar is, they glaze. It looks like someone came on it. They warm it up for you and Jesus Christ, that flavor. Like, I know it sounds generic, but wait. Oh, is that, that's a ruler? What? <laughs> and me too? Oh, <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> She's not even on Raida! What? Uh, what? Okay, so we got Gilgamesh and Estrella in four multis. That doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, I... Mm. Before I get sidetracked. So the flavor of that little donut I had mixed with the strong ass coffee is just... It's, it's a match made in heaven, especially when, like, I got, like, an Irish cream iced coffee something like that i don't know it's delicious right you estrella are freaking gorgeous please if any of you guys are Estrella lovers let me know because she is underrated as fuck oh boy that was four rolls huh okay i have two or three i'm gonna throw one single so i have 200 and okay if i get a three star ce or a three star servants i'm stopping if i get a four star ce or a four star servant like any gold servant i'll do one more multi yeah this is gonna be the final one i could tell gotcha gods if you hear me and p2 gilgamesh would be very lovely did it have to be the guy with the shitty goatee? Anyways, gonna keep this one short and sweet. There's gonna be a part two, so look forward to that. I am actually very much satisfied with the rolls today. I mean, I had Gilgamesh first roll. Are you kidding me? And don't forget about Estrella, my girl Estrella. I didn't see Gorgon, which was surprising. Normally, I think my Gorgon might be MP3 or or something like that sadly though no five star c which honestly even if i gave a warm multi it's not gonna happen if any of you guys are interested my discord is in the description if i don't forget it we have some very cool nice chill homies to hang in there so if you guys want to join in and talk about anything then go ahead now if you excuse me i'm gonna make a trip to badass coffee and go edit my video so yeah thanks for watching stay wonderful and as always peace